Hey there, welcome back to StarCraft 2, or welcome if you're new, either way, good to have you here. Today I'm playing a little bit of a ZVT, just, you know, a tiny bit of a ZVT situation. And I'm playing up against Daddio the Terran. <laughs> um, building another overlord here. Generally what I've been trying to do is I've been trying to go two base into mutas, but... I've been running into problems with it. It's been making me think it might not be the best build. But the reality is that I don't think my build order, like, it matters, but I don't think it's, like, it's going to make or break anything that I'm doing at my current rank. So two more workers there, and then you can go make me a hatchery. Thank you very much. Thank you for your sacrifice. You are a building now. Uh, build another worker, start the extractor, another worker, keep this base saturated. So there's a couple things I gotta look out for, for sure. Uh, one of the things I gotta know is if my opponent isn't building a second base very fast, I'm probably gonna need more lings than I initially would assume. And another thing I gotta look out for is somehow like six or seven or even more games in a row i've supply blocked myself at around three minutes and ten seconds into the game so you know keep a nice little lookout for that because it's a coming so another thing to look out for is that i didn't start my spawning pool until about 200 materials late which means this hatch is not going to be putting out anything useful for me for a while now at least i got at least i got an overlord coming out though eh? You know? He's just chilling. So I'll go get myself some vision on the Reaper ramp. And I'll start trying to saturate this base. Uh, if he's smart, he knows that this pool is very, very, very late. I don't have vision on where his... Okay, so he is building a base. Right now, this could be done, and I could be building wings to potentially try to send across the map. Instead, I am sitting here... Pumping drones. Because, like, you know? Sick. I can start speed right away, at least. That's pretty cool. Uh, three sets of lings. And then, oh, that supply block's coming up, but I'm watching out for it this time. I'm building an overlord. My god. I'll probably start the next extractor here. Get uh, both of these bases, like, saturated and working together. Buddy is building a supply depot, and he sent his first marine onto the map. I could catch this marine with uh, lings if I'd built them at the proper time and then set them across. Like, maybe I can still get across in time, but I don't think I can. And I also just wasted a lot of um, larvae, I think. Get two onto there, get both of my injects going. This can build another queen. Did that... Did I not build that overlord? I'm confused. So I ended up supply blocked at literally the exact time that I thought I was going to be able to avoid. Oh no, it's because I lost this one. Okay. Okay. So I did build it, but I like, I just really, I fucked up is the, the, the thing, the issue. Uh, one more worker here. Keep getting this saturated. More lings. Another overlord. Maybe two more overlords, I guess. Uh, I should try to do something resembling harass with these flings. I wonder if that's what's been happening to me consistently. Have I just been losing my overlord at about the same time every game and just getting, like, fucked by it? Can I make this into a lair yet? And if not, why can I not? Okay, so he's got a tank. That's nice. Lost a bunch of lings there. If I can eventually get mutas on mine, that's pretty good for me, but... I think that fully saturates this base, although I'll need another worker for this. Uh, one more worker on this gas, although... I accidentally queued two. Uh, I'm gonna start a third base, so I guess it's three base muta, but did this is already a layer. Oh my god. 
I thought I kept trying to build it being really confused as to why I couldn't and it actually makes a lot of sense why I couldn't it's because I already had a layer it was just done already so that's a that's a bit of a mistake sure hope that doesn't come to bite me in the ass later uh, just in case this game goes long I'm just gonna get the evolution chamber wall here and just uh, get myself prepared for a situation like that those tanks might be hard to deal with if I can't get those mutas I was planning on out pretty soon here Although, I'm just going to double build queens. Two more workers here. Get this gas online. And more overlords, because of course I need more overlords. So 538, that's another time to watch out for getting supply blocked. Like 538, 535, somewhere around there. Anyways, just double inject both these bases. I'm still building more queens. I'm waiting for that spire to finish. I have a... Uh... Do I have enough extra gas? I have enough extra gas to just get the infestation pit so that I can eventually upgrade my uh, first base again later. But for now, I'm not in like a huge rush to do so. I guess get 1-1 one, one upgrades here, and then I should be able to pump out like 5 mutas at a time here, and then get my harass going. Get my queens together in a group, get the creep rolling, get that shit going across the map. This base is finished. I can start making workers on it, and I can build it its own queen, and then maybe three more mutas. I was going to do three more mutas, but I need a lot more gas for that, so I'm just going to get the upgrade here, and then run in with the ones that I already have. I figured out that, uh, like, five is enough to one-shot a worker, so it's, you know, a pretty useful number of mutas to be at. Build a bunch of lings, get a few more overlords here. This game's uh, macro is really hard to keep up with long-term, I've found. Even short-term, like, I'm not even good at doing my, uh, like, the opening execution for my build order. Let's see, does Buddy have a missile turret? Just gonna murder a bunch of fucking workers. Took man but a little bit of time to, uh react to that. I got like five or six workers. I feel like that's a pretty good little run by. Build more here. I feel like this base is going to saturate pretty quickly, so I'm just going to go up to four right away because I don't think my opponent's like expanded anywhere else unless he's got a base over here. But most Terrans I've played against seem pretty content to just sit on two bases. I might be able to Baneling bust his wall in some, uh, some way, some form, some, uh, some method. Yeah, I'm gonna go shoot this medevac real quick. Run back across the map. Make sure that these mutas are uh, doing their own thing and build a whole bunch more to make it a little bit easier for them to keep doing their thing. If I can snipe that, if I can snipe that tank, that's also another bit of a win condition. I can't get this base mutated. Uh, that's finished. Two more, one more worker here, and then I can start saturating this base as well. Okay, I just lost all my mutas. Definitely not what I was going for. So he does have a base there. I was just like hitting random shit and not getting any value out of those mutas then. I wasn't paying enough attention to that base. Three on gas. Uh, start saturating this base. Build another queen so that I can inject every base. Am I injecting all my bases right now? This one isn't. You can send all these workers over here because they're mining out. This game's fucking ridiculous, man. Oh, I win. I'll take it. Hard, f hard fought victory right there. You know, uh, the guy probably had to go or something. I'm just gonna uh, like. I feel like I was not in a winning position that game. Like I felt like I should have been in a winning position. Maybe if I hadn't lost those mutas, I would have been at a winning or a muta count that would have made me a little bit uh, less sketchy feeling. But. I did not feel like I was in a winning position that game. That's how I usually feel against Terran. I feel like I struggle to deal with most of their army comps. Although, I also have that feeling when I play against 
Protoss and when I play against Zerg. So I'm starting to think that maybe it's just my lack of knowledge about the game, you know? Alright, take two. This time I'm going to try not to put down my hatch and my pool late. Although I think I did get the hatch timing at least somewhat correct. Alright, game two. Up against Excalibur, the Zerg player. Zerg, I eventually try to get up to Mutas as well, but I focus a lot more on Lings because most of early Zerg bases that I've ran into don't have a lot of, like, defenses set up, which means that you can kind of get away with run buys, and if you get a good timing, the game's just kind of over. So there's probably better builds to do for that, like, specifically, uh in ZVZ. There's probably, like, good builds to do in every matchup, if I'm being real. But it's just something worth, uh, something worth keeping in mind here. This worker can go over to build me a base. A little bit of a hatchery situation. Maybe a little bit early, but that's okay. Better early than late, I suppose, in this case. Uh, one, two more workers here, because I'm going to swap one of them off anyways, and then I'm going to make a spawning pool the second I have enough materials, and everything is going according to plan. You make the spawning pool. Overlord just, uh, you know, meandering its way across the map. It'll get where it's going eventually. Build a gas, build three workers for the gas. And then I'll put one on my main base again, on my next larva. And there we go, this base is going to be fully saturated. This one's going to be ready to do some stuff, ready to build a queen the second this finishes. I should build another overlord now before I forget about it. I'll put it like over here, get some vision. He's building his second base. Mine is like 10, 15 seconds faster, like maybe even 20. So I'm in a pretty good position here. Uh, build a couple lings. Can I start speed yet? No, it's a little too early to start speed. Get a third set of lings. And then when I get all those lings out, I'm just going to send them across the base to see if I can't fuck with this base. If I can, like, I don't know if I'd be able to destroy it. Is it better to just send the lings into his main? Uh, build three more workers. Get ling speed started. A little late, but I think that's fine in this case. Because it's still, like, an early attack. Uh, two, and then a third set, or another set of zerglings. And I can start injecting my bases. There's two more workers here. I should get this gas online pretty, or like try to pretty soon. Broke the Evo chamber. I just surrounded his spine. That seems like an expensive fucking building to catch. Oh, I caught these drones too? Dude, this was a really good opening. Really good early harass. I'm just gonna try to destroy this base. Inject both of these. Back up my zerglings, because he built uh he built his own set. I may be able to fight off creep, especially if I target micro. Okay, so he got all of them. He got all of them. But that was just the first attack. I'm gonna build another set of lings and use those to attack. He was a little bit slower than me, but I got a spine, I got like three workers, and I got most of his early lings. Let's start this layer here. Gotta remember that it actually finishes at some point and I can try to get mutas off the back of it. I'm gonna build another three pairs of lings and try to send them across the map here. Although, it's looking like my opponent has decent defenses set up, and he's probably going to get a queen out soon. Two workers here. Okay, so that was a bad attack. 
I keep thinking with the way the walls are formed that I can just run through. Like, this doesn't look like a wall. That looks like a very Zergling-sized gap. But evidently, it's uh, something my opponent can break through. So I'm just going to try to get, like, a lot of lings, because I think my second base should be, like, pretty ahead of his. And I should also probably get Evo Chambers of my own, because my opponent's going to be ahead of me in that sense now. Always need more overlords. I don't think I kept very good with my overlord timer this game. I'm pretty sure I got supply blocked at the normal time. Or at least the normal time for me. Yes, yes, more overlords. I get it. Uh, this finished, so I can get that spire I wanted. Uh, get another worker here. Get workers on these bases. Looks like he wants to do some, like, macro shit. I'm gonna go see if he's got a base, like, over here. Or over here, but I don't think he's started one yet. Have one of these workers over here, and I need to get my own third base started. That spire isn't done yet, but it'll be done pretty soon. Get a bunch more lings pathing to my ling army. Uh, get another little tumor out here, and both of these... Is this a full wall? It look, kind of looks like one. I think I might have placed them too close together, but it seems like this dude's doing just fine, so I guess not. Uh, kind of mining out that first base already. I'm going to need larva, so I'm going to need to inject both my bases, but they're both kind of going right now, so they're fine. Let's get my Zerglings creeping the map, I suppose. Keeping an eye on things. So that's my Spire finishing. I can get my first three Mutas. Okay, I can get more than that. I can get my first five Mutas and try to harass his main base. I'll try to send my Lings into his front door to keep him distracted before I do it, but... I am somewhat distractible. Oh wow, I, look, I need more Overlords. Why don't I just build three more fucking Overlords? Good job, Alex. This base isn't done yet. I kind of thought it would be. Any second now. And then this can spawn its own queen. I can start putting workers to that base to get it saturated. This can keep creeping. I'm gonna put my lings near his ramp and then path more mutas to the muta group. I'll put them over here because odds of him having vision there are pretty low. Although he might have actually just seen me fly out. Just destroy this base real quick. He doesn't need it. This isn't important. You don't need to do that. And then he knows I've got lings on the front, so he might not be expecting this. If he doesn't have a spore, I can do big damage here. He does have a spore. Uh, I lost some mutas, but I didn't lose all of them. Can I hit his ramp? Can I, like, break through in any meaningful way here? Build more mutas. I've got mutas pathing into his main, which is dumb. Okay, I did manage to break through. I've got enough wings. Uh, this base I need injected. This base I need injected. I need another tumor down. I need another tumor down. I need to fly all these mutas into his main again. Try to do some more damage. Just kill this queen real quick. You don't need to inject. That's not important for you, I'm sure. Can I kill this? Without meaningfully losing Mutas? No, I can't. Okay, I lost too many, I feel like. Although, he can't really... I can go kill this Overseer, I suppose. He doesn't need that. Go kill this one. Okay, I lost a queen. Build more mutas. Get uh, mineral fields transferring. Get my bases injected. Get this upgrading. 
If I get up to a decent mute account, I can one-shot the spire or the the spores, but it's gonna take me a lot of them. He's gotta rebuild his defensive wall. I need to go stop him from trying to build a third base again. Uh, I guess just get a fourth of my own to stay ahead economically. Just keep uh, pumping up this base. Keep injecting this base. I lose both of the queens on this one, or did I just like lose them somewhere? I'll just build three more queens and more overlords, I guess. Oh, looks like you got a base up. How unfortunate if you had to like defend it or something. Bit of a corrupter situation. They don't really do anything about that though. He's still got a gap here. I can just run these into his other worker line. I'm just gonna build more lings because it seems like he's having a bit of trouble dealing with them. I'll send these uh I'll send these mutas back in though. God, I'm doing a lot of damage here. Okay, so it went down in the end. But I've got enough lings that I can just keep kind of re-upping that I don't think it really matters. Uh, neither of these I ever got creeping. Get this base, get a couple of workers to move over. Get a queen moving over here to get that one going as well. I should have plus one on the mutas right now. That's actually good timing with what I was just saying. Uh, send you two over to saturate this base. And it looks like he's trying to like hide some lings up here or some shit. Trying to do a little run by of his own. I'm gonna go see if he's got a base here again, and then when my lings get there, I'm gonna try to hit with these mutas. Okay, so he doesn't have that base going. Looks like he's just sending his lings kind of defensively across, or like to get scouting information. I'm running these into his wall, which he's probably blocked off again. Oh, he didn't. I'm just gonna kill this spine then. He'll kill all these workers again. And, okay, that's game. I was gonna send my mutas into his base, but I didn't end up needing to. So he had, like, a decent idea with walling off his main, but he didn't end up, like, re-walling it off after I started to break pieces down. So, overall, I mean, I was just... I was just in a position to keep denying that third base, keep a resource advantage, keep re-upping my Zergling count, and I just, you know, ran him over in the end. I'm gonna try to play one more game here. That one felt pretty solid, although I really gotta figure out how to spend all my fucking minerals. I consistently have, like, thousands in the bank of just money that I'm not spending, and it, uh... That seems like a problem I should fix at some point. I think I only got one one out of my Evo Chambers, too. I definitely could have started on the next tier. Although I might have spent too much gas on the mutas to do that, so I'm not sure either. Recently, I feel like I've only been starting my third base after my first base starts getting mined out as well, and I'm pretty sure I can start it much earlier, so I can just path workers over there. Path this guy across the map. Oh, I wasn't really paying attention, so I guess I'm playing against a Protoss this game. I've got a bit of a spotty win rate when I play against uh, Protoss so far. Either... I defend in, like, the first few minutes, and then I'm just, like, I just kind of win the game because they just had a rush strategy that didn't work out for them, or I lose the game. You know, both of those are possible. Am I... I'm, like, one worker down on where I should be, I think. I forgot to build one, I guess. And I'm going to start this hatch late as a result, I think. Oh. I mean, I started it late because I was one worker short of where I should have been, but I technically started it on time as well. So, you know, there's there's that, I guess. Get a pool down. Another worker, and then I can get that extractor going. And another worker on my main. The early game is pretty much always the exact same thing. That's uh, 
one thing that's always kind of annoying about these kind of games is like your first two minutes is a very fuck upable very identical opening every game but it also means that you're in a position where you can like pretty easily learn from your mistakes and what's going on so i'm not like exactly upset about it uh cybercore gateway i don't know what this means i assumed it was blink stalkers once upon a time and then i got ran at by a bunch of zealots so i guess that could be an option too or maybe that's the secret maybe it just means zealots this whole time uh, build two of you. Build an overlord, so I don't forget. Build two queens. Hell yeah. Uh, do I want to get this gas, or do I want to saturate this base first? That's another question I don't really know the answer to. You might be getting a stalker out first. I don't know if you can see what your opponent's building until it comes out, though. So I got my lings. Like, maybe this can do some early harass, but I don't think they can hit before... Maybe if I did, like, a different attack timing, I could hit before he gets a unit out, but I don't think the timing I'm on is what I'm looking for. Build more drones, start saturating the second base, and then I can start injecting here off the back of my queens. This can build a second... Uh, I can build a second queen here, but I'm going to need to eventually start my lair... I guess I should have gotten that second gas instead of saturating this, because then I would have had the layer started by now. But it's only slightly delayed, and I'm only slightly supply blocked at... <laughs> would you look at the time? Only slightly distracted. I guess I'll send my legs across, although now I've probably missed the good timing when my opponent won't have units. So I probably should have been a bit more decisive earlier. Need to get my overlords out and on the map. Build three here. Build my first tumor. Inject this base. Get that extractor started. Three more. Two more groups of zerglings. And does he have a unit I can catch unaware? Or did, no, he's just got a full wall with a stalker in it. Okay, so at least that means he's probably committed to his two bases. Those are adepts in my main. Bit of a drone surround because I don't have my fucking guys in the right position. That's my bad. Uh, get this re-injecting. Get another tumor here. And then another inject. Two of you. So the first two adepts did, honestly, more damage than I would have liked them to. I probably should have just pulled the workers away and fought with my queens. Tried to get my, uh... Try to get my zerglings back home in time. Unfortunately, that's not what happened, and I lost like five or six zerglings or er, drones. Get this base going, get it pumping. I'm gonna need to re inject it soon in a second here. And more zerglings, although I don't think they're gonna be super useful at busting his wall down. I need to. That layer finished ages ago, so I needed to have this fire going already, but I don't. Like, I guess I could try to get, like, roaches or something instead. I have a feeling, based on that, that he's going to keep trying to run by my worker lines. And I also have a feeling that I should have started this base, like, two minutes ago. Build a couple more of you. Build overlords before I forget. Re-inject my bases. Everything's going fine. Get this tumor creeping as well. Get another tumor down. Build a queen here. Build another queen here. Get that base fully finished and saturated. Get it working. Get it moving. This worker can just build a gas because he's just chilling there. Two more zerglings. I can go see if he tried to build a third base. I should probably do something with my units. Make sure I'm injecting both my bases here. Kind of a bit of a defensive spore because I keep getting fucked by uh, stealth units when I play against Protoss as well. I don't think I have any larva banked right now, so I can't really make use of the fact that my spire just finished, which is a bit of an issue. So he doesn't have a third base as far as I can tell. And it looks like he's also just, again, he's still just chilling behind his wall. 
So I'm not like really too upset with that. Uh, keep my creep going, keep that shit happening, keep it creeping. This third base is finished now. Get it to build its own queen and start saturating it and get mutas out and doing damage. Even if they don't do a ton of damage, a lot of the time, one thing I've noticed about mutas is that they keep my opponent from feeling comfortable leaving their base with their units, which is just as powerful for me in its own right. I should build those evo chambers. I'll probably need them for later. Uh, I'm going to build an infestation pit because I want to upgrade eventually. And then I'll just build a bunch more mutas and path them over here, but I'm just pathing these guys to this base to run into his natural... Keep my creep flowing across the map. Uh, get my injects going. He's moving his entire army back to his base, just like I was talking about. And now they're not in position to defend this worker. Do a bunch more damage, back up. And build a few more mutas, get more zerglings on the map. More overlords, apparently, because one day I will be able to remember that I need a lot of overlords. Today is apparently not that day. Pat these workers over to the third base. Really need those overlords. Just get my creep creeping while I'm distracted, while I'm waiting. Might be able to... Okay, that's just the majority of his army. That seemed important to try to destroy. His army's out of position to defend his worker line again, although he can warp more shit in. Just re-up all my zerglings. Destroy both those, get my mutas out. It seems annoying to deal with. I sure would suck to be him right now. Leave that overseer in a decent little position. Get my creep creeping. Make sure all my bases are injected. I'm not actually at supply cap yet, which kind of surprises me because I just like held down the fucking button on overlords a second ago. I gotta get one one for my zerglings so they're not entirely worthless. A couple more mutas. Re-up my muta count. Maybe Swarmhouse? I did like Swarmhouse a lot when I first started, but I started spending so much gas on mutas that I never ended up being able to get like a good count of both. But it's probably good to uh, get all that going. Max this base out. Uh, this base... I can start working on getting a fourth. Is he gonna have cannons or something here? I feel like I'm giving him too much time to react. His army's kind of out of position again though. I can just kill all these workers again. I definitely don't have as many mutas as I would like to. Back up. My creep is pretty much touching his base by this point. Uh, get this in the control group. Make sure everybody's injected. I want to get my swarm house online.
I need my mutas to be in a separate group of them. And then I get all of these guys, like, over here so that I can just keep Siege in that base. And kind of defend it. Build a bunch of swarm hosts to go help with here. I'm going to go send these into his worker line. And then I'm going to go hit his main again. Just keep him contained. Keep him spending money on things he doesn't want to. That's a big ball of stalkers. Sure would be a shame if uh, something were to happen to your production structures. Go break all these pylons. Make him need to rebuild them. I can one-tap Stalkers now, so I can kind of tear through this army. Although, he did get an Archon out. Uh, sure would be a shame if you had a Worker Line, or if you needed these at all. Oh, uh, they're not targeting it though. The hold move wasn't enough. Build more mutas. Uh, this base I want to get online eventually. Just build a bunch of workers and send them over to it. Make sure all my other bases are doing their thing. I'll just send a bunch of workers from this base because it looks like it's mining itself out. Uh, looks like I didn't path a bunch of my army, so I'm just going to put them all over here. Regrab my mutas real quick. Grab all my swarm hosts, send them back into his base. Like 13 swarm hosts is kind of a decent amount of swarm hosts. He's gotta send his stuff out eventually to deal with me. Uh, do I really not have gas on my third base? I also don't have like mute upgrades continuing on my spire right now. Wait for this upgrade to finish, get my muta count high again, got enough lings, just resend another little swarm host wave in. Make sure he's not building a third, that would be bad. Oh, would you look at that? You don't need this, do you? Do you need the materials? Sure hope not. Anyway, it's gonna back these lings up. He might have built a base down here, too, if he's sneaky. Doesn't seem too sneaky, though. More mutas, re-up the count. Get my lings moving around. Uh, my creep kind of ended, like, right at his base, but that's pretty, that's pretty far. Get two more gases online. Oh, I am at max supply now. Okay, so I got a max supply army. Sure would be a shame if I were to send uh, another giant fucking wave of swarm house units into your base. Go put these in his third, because I'm pretty sure I can just walk him down with my meat account here. I think this game's over. Yeah. So I'd say that was pretty good. I kept him contained pretty well. I probably could have gone up to a uh, fifth and a sixth base while I was keeping that contain going, but I was already having problems microing the ones I had. 9k minerals in the bank. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so my mutas did pretty much exactly what I was kind of talking about that game, where he had a bigger army than me, and he probably had an army that he could fight with for most of that situation, but he also was too scared to leave his base in case I just hit him with a muta run by and killed all his workers again, which is, you know, it's fair. It's a fair fear, but you should probably get uh, something that does anti-air a little bit more reliably.
than just having a ball of stalkers that you got to micro around. I just kept uh, chipping away at his resources, and eventually that was game. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Pretty much went exactly the way I wanted it to. Anyways, thank you for joining me. That's going to be all for StarCraft 2 for tonight. Drop a like on the video if you stuck around this long. Hit that sub button if you want to see more uh, of whatever I'm uploading at the time. I upload pretty much every day. It's been a lot of RTS content recently, but, uh, you know, maybe there's some other stuff in the works. I also keep saying that, but then I just keep playing RTS games instead of editing, so, I mean, hey, got some work to do. <laughs> Anyways, uh, have a lovely morning, noon, or night, and peace.